What is the crack, lads? And welcome back as we take a look at the FC Bayern Munich legends that have just released. So we've got Romanegi, we've got Mataus, Mataus, Mateus, and we've got Demichelis. So we're just seeing a little video there that's in game. You guys can check that out when you log in to the Dream Team menu. Uh, I think we're going to be going through these players. I think we're going to be really focusing on Romanegi because I think he is probably. I think him, Samuel Eto'o and Romario are probably the three best legends, like striking wise, uh, striker wise. I know that Batistuta is a beast. I know that Drogba can be a beast. And I know that there's a couple of other guys knocking around there as well. Morientes is actually an unbelievable finisher. But in if you're looking for a guy to kind of lead the line and you're looking for somebody that can just like dominate, uh, I think Romanegi is the guy to go for because, you know, obviously it's random. But I think if you are looking for an end game striker, that can do it all. Like, and we'll get in and have a look at his stats here now in a second. So we are going to go into this Bayern Munich team and we're going to, our legends and we're going to have a look at Romanegi's stats. So straight off the rip, right, we will notice that he's got, you know, nine levels that he can go up. So again, if you are playing pos possession game, you don't really need to touch anything on his play style there. If you are upgrading his play style, if you're going for quick counter or out wide or long ball or whatever you want to go for, I would probably pump in two, you know, I'd probably pump in two into that to get him up to 90 if he's going to be your end game uh, because he's got like the base, his his play style, you'd be able to play him in any formation really. But if you do have a different play style than the possession game, he, you can see he's 80 there. Uh, I do think that you should probably pump it up a little bit because if he's going to be your end game striker or one of your end game strikers, he is going to want to be able to play with your manager, you know, so you need to make a decision on that before you max out his stats because you can't redo it. You know, a lot of people make that mistake. So, yeah, looking at his stats here on face value, he can play left wing, right wing, AMF, SS or CF, right? If you look and before we go into his individual stats, he's got amazing run, he's got speeding bullet and he's got long ranger. And he's also got double touch for a player skill, cut behind and turn, heading, he's good in the air, uh, long range shooting, long range curler, rising shot, first time shot, acrobatic finishing, and he's also got true passing as well if you're playing him in the pocket or the hole. Um, he's also got unwavering form, weak foot accuracy is very high, weak foot usage is occasional. So he is kind of the perfect, stat wise, he is the perfect striker to have. If you're looking for somebody to just be your your, your one-man army kind of player. Like, if you're playing a 4-3-3 with Romanegi in the middle and you want to just kind of, like, have a lot of chances up top or else you're playing a really narrow, um, you know, 3-5-2 or you're playing, like, a very kind of, like, traditional striking partnership of one tall, one small or one mobile and fast and one guy like Lewandowski or somebody good in the air, I think Romanegi, apart from Romario and maybe Mbappe, I don't think you're going to get better than Romanegi. Now, obviously, we do have to test him out if we are going to get him. I don't know whether I'll spin for him yet because I've only got 390 coins and I'm not too sure whether I will be spinning for him, to be honest, uh, because I've got an unbelievable team. But I would I would really like him, to be honest. He is, in a, he is going to be a beast. He's also got goal poacher as well, which is very important. Um... But when we actually actually have a look at his stats, lads, right? 91 speed without even touching his stats and upgrading his stats with the training. 91 speed is perfect. We don't need to touch it. 85 acceleration. We do need to touch up that to dexterity. We do need to upgrade that simply because his balance needs to be brought up a bit. So I would probably bring that up to maybe like a 90 in acceleration. And then I would pump the rest into probably bring his ball control up to 80 and then I would probably focus a little bit on his finishing I mean the finishing stat is kind of a bit misleading in my opinion because if, if you know how to finish if you're able to just like cut the angle in front of goal you can finish with like a 70 rate and finishing stat this, that doesn't really need to be looked at too much I would focus on when I'm training players I would focus on like not trying to make them into something that they're not like I would just kind of like improve like I would make them the masters of their position rather than trying to make them a jack of all trades, especially with your, let's just say your kind of like finesse players or your marquee players that you, you know, you don't need to have Romanegi as like a 90 overall finishing stat because he should be able to finish pretty much anything that you give him in front of goal. Now it does make a difference if you do have it as high as you can go, but if it's at the, the cost of another uh, stat that you need to upgrade, I definitely think you should focus on his speed, his power, get up his balance a little bit, and then just try and have him as a as a completely dominant player. So if we actually head over to eFootballDB.com, 
And I know we spent a lot of time on Romanegi already, so I'm just going to have a quick look at Mbappe, right? This is a maxed out Mbappe, his standard card. It's a million GP. I'm not too sure if you guys will have that. But if you look at how he stacks up against Romanegi, right? You know, when you max out Romanegi, this is kind of similar stats that you're going to have. But I still think Mbappe is actually slightly better. Uh, he's got 90 speed, 91 acceleration, 90 finishing, 87 dribbling, 82 tight possession, um, 87 defensive awareness, which is very important for runs forward, and 85 balance. He's also got unwavering form, and he can play out wide, which we've given him three there, but you don't need to pump three into that if you don't want to. I've just done that just to show you how he fits into my squad, because I probably will buy Mbappe and do a review on him. If you haven't, you know, spun, or if you're doing a road to glory, or you're doing a no spend uh, squad, I definitely think Mbappe is one to be to be to be getting you know him and son up front are are lethal um and then maybe get a free five star nominating contract off the right or maybe a sala on the right or whatever but similarly with romario right romario's card goes to a 95 overall but his speed and acceleration are slightly lower his finishing is 88 his offensive awareness is 88 and his balance is 88 so it's kind of different um you know when we actually look at romanegi his balance is a, is, a, is a bit of cause for concern here. So make sure you keep that in mind, depending on how you play um, the game and how you play your actual style, you know, your play style of how you approach, approach attacks and stuff like that. So next up, we've got Mateus and Ritaus. Uh, let me know what you guys think of him if you have got him. He is an absolute beast in previous Pez games. I think I had him in Pez 21 and 20, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and he was just an absolute monster, right? So initially, what you would want to do here is kind of like have him decide whether you want him as your box-to-box, -box, like your outright box-to-box, -box, which I think you should. Like if you've got Cloud Makalele or you've got somebody like uh, Casemiro who can just be that kind of like anchorman, Sergio Busquets, somebody like that, you can have Mataus as your main kind of like box-to-box -box player. Think of it like a Stevie G player uh, where he's getting up and down the pitch. You know, he's getting on to the end of shots. He's got like 70 finishing, which isn't that much, but he's always able to, to score from long range. He always was, and I think he will always there. He's got first-time shot. He's got rising shot, and he's also got sliding tackle, interception, and man marking as well. So he's going to be a menace in the middle of the field if you are coming up against him. I do think that you should probably upgrade his speed, his acceleration and then i would probably upgrade depending on where you want to put him if you want to put him as your box to box kind of like defensive minded cmf um i would you know put a bit into his tackling to try and get that up to 82 or 3 but if not if you want to have him as your kind of like main man linking the midfield and linking or linking the strikers with the defenders i would probably pump that into dribbling and passing i would try and get his passing up to like 82 and his dribbling up to like maybe 74 so depending on how you train him up speed dribbling and um passing if you want to have him as your kind of like main man going forward and then speed and defense if you want to have him as a central kind of position where you're, you know, defending deep with him um, and just, you know, helping out the defensive side of the game. And then last but not least, we have Demicheles. Well, uh, like, look, it is obviously random whether you get these players. I mean, if this was a case that you could buy uh, Romanegi in a power pack, I would definitely recommend it uh, if you were, you know, wanting to spend money on it. But Demicheles, if you get him and you don't get the rest of the legends, like, it is going to be a bit of a bummer because his stats aren't actually that good when you look at him, right? 60, 65 speed and 70 acceleration. We'd, we'd live with that because he's got 86 jump and 80 heading um for a 185 centimeter uh player that's that's quite decent you know he'll be able to get up and and uh challenge a couple of the taller players in the air which a lot of people seem to be playing that way now a lot of people seem to be playing a little bit more um you know kind of like long ball and stuff like that uh because the game is obviously having a couple of issues with the responsiveness and stuff that people just put it up there and see what happens but Demichelis lads he's got 13 levels so you can actually train him up quite decently there and he's not the worst player I think he's going to be fairly decent in the air but you should have a better center back than him at your club already you know if you're a newcomer to the game I definitely think you should check out how to get a five-star nominating contract 
boost your team that way and just get all the GP that you possibly can and buy somebody like Kunde or buy somebody like Pau Torres or buy up a Meccano or buy Van Dijk if you've if you've got a lot of uh, GP but yeah Demi Kelly's for me isn't is probably one of the least um you know one of the worst legends that they've released but let me know what you guys think I think his defensive engagement and awareness is just too low compared that with his speed you're not going to be able to you know boost those up enough even with the 13 levels so let me know what you guys think that is the Bayern Munich review done um I will be yeah, I don't know whether I should get these or not. I mean, I'd like to get these guys just to show you a couple of videos with Rum and Eggy, uh, but let me know in the comments below. Um, yeah, let me know if you're going to spin or skip lads this week. I'll be back quite soon. Hope you enjoyed the video as usual. Peace.